This is my girl, Melissa Burgos, also known as Rakia Rizos on social media. A few years ago, she completely shaved her head bald and her Rizos are growing back beautifully and turning gray at the same time. And Melissa is not thrilled, not because of the gray, but her natural color is an off black and her ends have lightened from sun exposure. So what she has now is a lot of dull texture. She told me it was dry. I said, no ma'am, it lacks luster. That's what color is for. So I am going to blend her gray with a combination of three ion permanent cream colors. The reason I say we are blending the gray versus covering is because these tones are too light to cover gray hair. They will only blend it in. If you want full gray coverage, you have to select darker tones or ones with brown as the base. Melissa didn't want dark hair. She wanted more of a mix of light brown to dark blonde, so I selected tones to color melt in a natural progression. I also didn't want to use bleach because she lives too far for me to do the necessary maintenance, and I wanted to make sure that her routine could stay the same at home. Also, bleach is just unnecessary in this particular case. She's got virgin hair, and she's not aiming for anything super light. After detangling all of the sections and applying barrier cream to prevent staining and irritation, I am going to apply the darker level four tone to the nape hair first so that it looks fuller around the neck. Then I'm going to use all three colors, darkest at root to lightest on ends and different variations and foils around her head to process. I don't want this to lift too far, so I'm allowing the foils to insulate heat for a slower lift, giving me time to get around her head without anything over processing. I've created several videos about hair color, including how different hair types respond to color, but there's one in particular that I'm going to link you all to below this video that will help you understand better. As always, I recommend you see a stylist for color consultation. Get a professional opinion or two because if you have a misstep, color corrections usually cost triple what you would have paid if you had just gotten it done right the first time. Now I am going to remove the foils and rinse the color out with cool water and use the Monos Hair Curl Collection Curl Hydrator Shampoo. This sulfate free formula has a host of botanicals, essential oils and proteins to fortify and moisturize hair. After rinsing, I am going to apply the Ion Color Defense After Color Sealer. All color systems have a post-color treatment that is used to bring the pH of the hair back to where it needs to be while sealing in the color. This is a necessary step in color processing. I am going to massage this through for a couple of minutes, rinse it out, and then apply the Monos Hair Curl Collection Curl Restoring Treatment. This is designed to improve elasticity while moisturizing and repairing. It's the balance your hair needs, especially when color treated. Elasticity is what determines your hair's ability to expand and contract without breaking during your wash and setting process. This treatment installs moisture while protein repairs holes in the cuticle layer of the strand, so moisture is not lost and the strand is strong enough to withstand your day-to-day -day living. After rinsing out, I am going to section the hair to prepare for styling. I am using my spray bottle to fully saturate the section, and then I will apply a little bit of the curl smoothing pudding, rake it through, and scrunch the curls together. Because we just did a deep treatment, leave-in conditioner is optional. Because I am using the curl pudding, I don't wanna put much more weight on Melissa's hair. She likes volume. Using more water than product is the best way to spread it through and saturate the strand without weighing it down. After all of the sections are set, I am going to let her sit for about 20 minutes to set the curl shape and then diffuse with my Ion Conditioning Ceramic Blow Dryer on medium heat and speed. I am having Melissa lean so her hair lifts away from the root so the heat can create volume. Make sure when diffusing you are not disturbing the hair too much while it's still wet. 
Once those curls are dry, you can get in there and fluff it out. I am using my fingers and the concentrator nozzle on the dryer to lift the roots and situate the curls and we are done. Melissa now has a mix of tones that give her hair dimension and shine and blend her gray hair beautifully. You can find the Monos Hair Curl Collection in Sally Beauty stores and online at sallybeauty.com. You can find links to everything used and related tutorials in the About section below this video or by visiting monoshair.com. <laughs>